investigation right now in Batavia Township. The Claremont County Sheriff's Office says the owner of a tattoo shop was killed after a dispute over money near State Route 132 and East Ohio Pike. WLWT News 5's Karen Johnson is live there at the scene. And Karen, I understand a lot of people in that area knew the victim. Yeah, you know, Mike, I've been going around talking to some people at area businesses, all of whom told me that Brian Wilson, um, the victim here, um, excuse me, I'm sorry. Yeah, Brian Wilson, I just want to make sure I got his name correctly, um, was the victim here. They say that he was a good guy. They say he was a father to a young child and just an all around great guy. He was 42 years old. He owned uh, the tattoo shop Stay Gold, which is here at the intersection of State Route 125 and 132. And this is where the shooting took place. Now, this man right here, uh, he is the person who is under arrest, 33-year-old Michael Gulfoyle of Amelia. He was arrested at the scene. He's charged with aggravated murder and aggravated robbery. The Claremont County Sheriff's Office says the 911 dispatch center received an open line call and dispatchers were able to hear people arguing over money. Then they heard gunshots. When police arrived, they found Wilson unresponsive in the westbound lanes of State Route 125. He was pronounced dead at the scene. Investigators say Guilfoyle was also still at the scene. They say he confessed to shooting Wilson. One woman who knows Wilson spoke to us a short time ago. She did, though, ask not to be identified. He was a good guy. He would work with anybody. Um, I have other children that's went to him and got tattoos and, you know, they didn't have enough money and he's like, it's fine. Like, we'll do a payment plan. He was always upbeat, funny. You know, he was always a good person. He never tried to hurt anybody. He tried to do everybody fair. And the suspect in this case is scheduled to be in court tomorrow morning here in Claremont County. And that's when we could learn more information about the shooting.